This video covers topics for exercise 3 in the KSIDE overview series. We will introduce the function block library in the KSIDE software, including how different functions are organized and how you can drag and drop all of them into different IEC 61131 programming languages, including ladder and structured text. Our library puts all available function blocks into different categories. If you know the name of the function block you'd like to use, you can always go to all and find the alphabetical list of every single function available in the product. Normally, it's easier to find by looking through the different categories. Project is a list of all subprograms added or imported to this specific project. Field bus is a list of Ethercat functions to read and write parameters to any slave Ethercat device in the system. Colmorgan EDFBs is a list of subprograms that application engineers, like myself, have previously written and we decided to include for everyone to use. You can use them as is or modify them. This is also where you'll find all homing functions we have written in this product. Next three sections are a list of motion functions that are directly tied to server drives in the system. We have two motion networks to use, PLC Open and Pipe Network. For these videos, we're going to focus on the PLC Open section as this is a PLC Open to axis ladder diagram template program, and it's also most commonly used in North America. We also have a section, Motion Common, which are functions that are used in both PLC Open and Pipe Network. Uh, for instance, all the functions to start the Ethercat network up and running are in Motion, and all functions to create camp profiles in the fly are under Profiles. We also have two sections for PLC functions. PLC standard, you'll find all your arithmetic, Boolean logic, uh, Boolean comparisons, counters, more advanced math functions, and string manipulation and timer functions. We also have some more advanced functions to do UDP communication, as well as file functions to read or write CSV and text files. The last section is called system. This is where we have function to read controller level errors and alarms and get performance statistics on the controller that you're running the project on. We also have a section to print log messages, which can help in troubleshooting. I'm going to show you one of the standard PLC open motion functions, how you can drag and drop it into both ladder and structured text programming languages. First, if you find it, grab it with your mouse, you can drag it out to any editor. You'll see that once I do, I have a little pop-up. Now this is a function block that requires me to create an instance of it, so I can either pick an instance that's already been created, or start typing to create a new one. I will call it read act pause one instance, hit return. It already knows the type is the name of the function block, and I have the choice to make it global or local. I always want to be reading the actual position of this function block, so I'll just tie it directly to my power rail and ladder, and I'll double click next to axis to choose from the axis created, and I'll pick axis 1. You don't have to fill in any outputs if you don't want to. I want to tie a variable to the position output, so axis 1 actual position. When I hit enter, since this variable doesn't exist already, it will let me declare it right from my ladder editor. And note that it knows that the output has to be a long real type, so it defaults to that. Note that I can also hover over the function, and it will give me a list of what variable types the inputs and outputs have to be. And I can also highlight the function either in my ladder editor or in my function block library itself and hit F1 to open up our help file, and we do have context-sensitive help, so we'll go right to the function that I have highlighted. This will give me a more detailed list of what the function does, what you need to fill in for all the inputs and outputs, and give you some examples in different programming languages. I can also drag and drop the same function into a structured text environment. Note also when I do, it has a pop-up asking me to either create a new instance of this function block or select a previously created one. 
Now I'll do access to actual position instance. I will fill in the inputs. I'm just going to type true for enable because I always want to be reading the position. And access, I will pick access to. If I want to tie the output of that function block instance to a variable, I have to do that on a separate line in structured text. I'm going to hit control space to bring up a list of all variables available. And I will just start typing to create a new access to actual position variable. I want it to be a long reel, the same as the output of that function block. I'm going to do colon equals, which is how we assign in structured text. I'm going to hit control space again to bring up this list. But now I want to find that instance that I created, access to actual position instance. And I can see a list of all the available outputs to use. I want position. I will already fill in the name of that instance dot the name of the output I want to use. And that concludes our introduction to the KSIE function block library, including how it is laid out and organized into different categories and how you can drag and drop all of the function blocks into our IC611-31 programming languages.